Hello everyone. Welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Musab, Musab Sayyid, and I'm a corporate level trainer with more than 13 plus years of experience. Today, we are going to learn how to install Red Hat 9 Linux on any platform. So let us start working with Red Hat 9 installation. See guys, when you plan to install any operating system, you must check the prerequisite. What kind of hardware is supported? How much CPU, how much RAM, and how much networking and hard disk capabilities are required? So let us move into our practical session where we are going to talk about how to work with that. So let's go to the today's topic that is installing RHEL 9. So let's move to RHEL 9 and here we are going to talk about the prerequisite. See guys, in order to do the Red Hat 9 installation, we have two types of requirement, minimum and recommended requirements for Red Hat 7, 8, especially the 9, what we are targeting. One is minimum installation and the second one is recommended installation. Minimum is at least what you should have, without which if you proceed, your installation will not be successful and maybe you may face issues. Recommended is something that gives you best possible result and you'll be getting superb installation and all its feature. Basically, for installation, we need to look for three things. First is the processor, second is the RAM, and third is the hard disk space. And fourth is we need to have a network adapter. So first, the CPU, what we require is Intel, AMD, ARM, any platform, dual core CPU. This is minimum. But for the best result, you should go for Intel, AMD, ARM, quad core processor, which will be very fast in performance. When it comes to RAM, we should have minimum 1.5 to 3 GB RAM. Recommended is to have something between 3 to 16 GB. Hard disk space required is 10 to 30 GB minimum and recommended is to have 20 to 50 GB of disk space. And optionally, we should have a network adapter for best communication possible. Now, Red Hat 7, 8, and 9, it comes only in 64-bit version. To check what are the more limitation, you can visit Red Hat page and view it. Now, same is the requirement if you are installing Rocky Linux, or you are installing Alma Linux, or maybe you are going for CentOS. All requirements remain same. Now, during installation, we require to have three partitions minimum, without which the installation cannot be completed. First is root, the most important partition without which the OS cannot be installed. Root is the main partition that contains the whole operating system inside it. Now, as it is the most important partition, it needs to be given maximum available space, like 8 to 20 GB. Suppose your hard disk is 30 GB, give 20 GB to this fellow. Then the next partition we require is boot, that is required to boot your operating system. And the size required is just 1 GB. Third partition we require is swap. Now swap is a special partition that supports your RAM. How it supports the RAM, how it works, we are going to understand it in the exclusive chapter swap space management. Today you just understand to install the operating system or to run the operating system efficiently we need one extra partition that is called as swap space partition. How much swap space partition you should have? Twice or equal to RAM. Better to have twice. Suppose your RAM is 1 GB, swap should be 2 GB. Your RAM is 2 GB, swap should be 4 GB. Your RAM is 4 GB, swap should be 8 GB. Like that you have to check. 
And in some special cases, we also need BIOS boot. We'll check what is BIOS boot and all in the coming classes. Now, how and where to download Red Hat software? See, Red Hat is a subscription-based software. You can download it by going into redhat.com. And in redhat.com, you can register your corporate ID. Your corporate ID means your organizational ID, username, password of your organization. If not, there is a workaround that you can also go to developers.redhat.com. Now in this place, you can register yourself by going into login page, register yourself with Google, Microsoft, GitHub, or you can register with any other account of your choice. Simply what I'll do here is I will log in with my existing account and I'll give the password. When I log in into this account, you see we'll have an option called products and technology. Go to products and technology, go to Red Hat Linux and here you will find out download. Now in download, you can download any version, especially the latest version 9.2. This is one way. Now if you find it difficult, no problem. You can simply go to rockylinux.org. See Rocky is exactly the same copy of Red Hat. Now if you don't want to go with all that subscriptions and all that thing, the most easiest thing what you can do is going to rockylinux.org and click on download and here you can download the Red Hat 9 version. So just download this image and be ready. Next thing is we are going to install it on virtualization platform. So I request you to download some virtualization software, any of your choice. In my case, I'm going to go for Oracle Virtual Box. Go to Oracle Virtual Box and over here you can click on download. In download, you can download a Windows software. You know how to install a software in Windows. Once you download it, the software bubble will open. You have to say next, 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 and that's it. Your installation would be completed in no time. Now, once your Oracle Virtual Box is downloaded, it may look like this. It gives you a welcome page, and over here, it is going to give you so many other options. Over here, you have to click on new, give some name to your operating system. What name? It can be any name of your choice, whatever the name you like. For example, in my case, I'm going to call it Gautam Linux. Now, select the type of operating system from the list Linux and the version I'm going to select is Red Hat. Red Hat 9 version as we are planning to go for it. Now I'll go to next. How much CPU would you like to give? I would like to give just 2 GB RAM and minimum 2 CPU. Why minimum 2 CPU? We studied over here that at least dual core processor is required. This is the reason why here I have chosen 2 GB RAM and 2 CPU. Next, what size of disk would you like to give? See, I would like to give 30 GB disk. You can give beyond 30 GB also if you want, but 30 GB I think is enough. Let's click on next and here is the summary. Click on finish and here your virtual machine is created. Now before I can power on the virtual machine, let's do some more settings inside it. So let me right click on virtual machine, go to settings. Now in settings, we need to go to system. Now here you see first boot device is floppy. Now I'm not using floppy anymore. Let me put it down the order. First boot device should be DVD 
Second should be hard tips. And one more thing, there is a pointing device, mouse. It has selected the old type PS2. Now that will not work for you. So please change it to USB anything. USB tablet, multi-touch or anything of your choice. I'm going with USB tablet. Next, go to storage. See, we have downloaded a Red Hat image from Red Hat website or Rocky website or maybe Alma website. Now it's time to connect it. How to connect? Click on that DVD bubble, go to that DVD button and choose the disk file. Now go to that place where you have downloaded the Red Hat image. In my case, I have downloaded it in downloads folder with the name rel 9.2. So your DVD image is also connected. Next thing, go to network. Last thing here, change the network type to host only adapter. This is it and all your settings for this fellow is over. Right? So in this session, we have just seen what are the requirements to install Red Hat and from where you can download the Red Hat software and how to set up a virtual machine. So in today's class or in this video, I think this much is enough. We will stop the session here and in next video, we will continue to launch the virtual machine and we'll see next of our step. Thank you very much guys and see you in the next video.